Hello, welcome to Store Stories. Every fourth Thursday of the month I want to talk about uh, just the, the weird and dumb stuff that I had to deal with, uh, that I've had to deal with working at a grocery store. And one morning I was opening the uh, self-checkout lanes and one of the night crew guys brought up a whole pallet of the facial tissues and he said it was a, a, for a special order that someone was coming in to buy. I'm, I was thinking that's a, that's a pretty impressive special order, but if that's what they want, that, that's what they want, and uh, glad that we got, got it uh, sorted out for them. So later that morning, as I was helping people at self-checkout, the uh, cashier calls me over because a lady wanted to buy 176 boxes, individual boxes of uh, facial tissue. That explains the pallet. And we go over to the, the pallet to try to determine how many of the packages to sell the lady because each box comes in the, the pallet has, uh, is covered in boxes and each box has six boxes of tissues in each one. And she starts freaking out, just give me the whole pallet. No, let me just buy the whole pallet. I'm just gonna, just sell me the whole pallet. Well, I'm not gonna do that because one, I don't know how many individual boxes of tissues are on that pallet. And two, it's, that's the entire stock of the store. And it's not fair to sell everything we have to one person because they're freaking out of how many they, they need to buy. And three, I'm pretty sure if you're sent to the store to buy a specific thing and you buy the entire stock of that thing, you're probably gonna get in trouble. She responds, I don't care about all that. I, I don't care about, I don't have time to worry about and deal with all that pro problem, all that stuff. I don't care about all the other people. I'm just here to buy these and this is what I'm here to buy. So I'm here to buy, just, just sell me all that you have. And besides, it's not really all that hard to determine how many of the, each box that you'll need to have. If you want 176 boxes, 176 individual boxes of Kleenexes, you'll just take, and they're, they come in six to a box. You just take 176 divided by six. And she gets all confused. What do you mean? How does that work? I'm thinking to myself, okay, really? Does, does that, is that that confusing? But whatever, I go I go over to the customer service desk and hand and buy, pick up one of those little pocket calculators and show her it's really, it's really quite simple. You just take 176 and divide by the six in each box and that's how many boxes you get, which came out to uh, 29.3 repeating. Well, that's not an even number. And she, she gets even more confused. Well, that's not an even number. How can you tell me 29.3333 boxes? Well, again, that's not really hard. You just subtract the whole number and then take the decimal and then multiply it by the amount in the box, which is six. So 29.3 repeating minus 29 times six. I'm slightly embarrassed. I didn't recognize 0.3 repeating is one third and one third of six is Two. But the answer pretty much comes to 29 of uh, the big boxes of tissues plus two more individual boxes of tissues. She responds, well, I'm completely lost. I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you, if that's how many say, how much you say I get, I guess that's how many I'll, I'll have to get. So I think the situation is handled. So I go over back to the self checkout lane, except for a few minute moments later, the cashier calls me over again because the register isn't working right. Um, I forgot if you do a, try to do a quantity for more than a hundred items of the same items, it won't it won't do that because it'll just assume that you're doing a, a mistake. Because typically, when you're doing a quantity, you're not going to do more than a hundred. And if you are doing a hundred, it's more likely you're actually pushed a wrong button. So there's like a little safeguard so you don't accidentally ring up like five hundred heads of lettuce or something like that. Well, the, the, I was trying to explain that and the lady starts huffing and puffing. You mean I have to do multiple orders just to ring up my, just to ring up my tissues? I try to calm her down and say, well, no, you, you can do quantities. It just, you have to do quantities less than a hundred. And uh, I left the, the calculator that I used a moment ago at the register and the lady starts reaching for the calculator. So if you take the square root of the nominals of the, then divide by the pi, it's like, no, or you can just ring up 99 and then ring up 77. And she says, well, no, I want to buy 176. I say, yeah, 77 plus 99 is 176. Well, and she goes, 
Well, I guess if you say so. I, I just uh, I just don't ne I can never follow what you're trying to do. Well, let's just say I'm fairly certain about that. And before I walk away again, just to let the cashier you know bring her up. Uh, she says, I, "Oh, I always have trouble with my credit card. Can can you just stay here and make sure my credit card works?" Which really is not a problem. And she hands over a credit card that uh, the store store has for the local school district. I look at the credit card. Oh, this is oh, so this is for the school, which kind of explains why you're trying to buy 176 boxes of Kleenexes. <laughs> And, and she kind of—I don't know if she just kind of figured out—I was trying to liven up the, the the mood of the area. And she goes, "Yeah, I'm taking him in for work." And she she said what school she works to at, but I don't want to like, get anybody in trouble here. Kind of had a hard time prof like containing my professionalism right there because if you're working at a school, I'm gonna assume you have some level of education. To be fair, there are a lot of jobs at a school. Not everyone who works for a school is a teacher. And that's what I started to think as well. But except for when she signed for her, her purchase, the credit card purchase, she said, oh, I teach algebra too. And right there, I just kind of start, stared there stunned. And she just kind of smiled there. Oh, that was, I'm guessing that wasn't your favorite subject in school. And I was honest at that moment because I said uh, I was more into reading and science than I was into math. Yeah, I, I helped the lady in the carry out load up a couple cars as she left, and uh, I, but I was just stunned that a math teacher was just didn't understand math. When the carry out came back in, he t said the the lady said, told him that I was just acting so weird when I was trying to help her. Is it really that weird to? be stunned when a math teacher doesn't know basic math? I'm really starting to wonder what this says about the American school systems. What's next? An English teacher who can spell. Story for another time. Oh, come on. That was supposed to be a joke. I really wish it were. On this story, this is basic level stuff. This is solve for X kind of stuff. She says she says she teaches Algebra 2, but I don't know if this even counts as Algebra 1. Well, I doubt that she walked into the store expecting a pop quiz. Well, my idea, my thoughts on the, the whole thing is, if you're going to teach math, you should have an understanding of what math is. Sure, I, I walking down the street, if you, if you run up to uh, a math teacher and say, Hey, what's the Pythagorean theorem? They might have a hesitant, might have, might hesitate a bit. But if you're at a grocery store picking out how many boxes of Kleenexes you need, you should be able to figure out how many boxes of Kleenexes you need. And when someone starts going through the steps of determining how much you need, you should be able to understand and follow along. If you're just completely bewildered and lost and not understand thought processes of when I'm trying to divide by six and then that's how many you need and you're completely lost, why are you teaching math? <laughs> but, uh, that's for my script ends. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Every fourth Thursday of the month I want to do a store story like this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about next month. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, store stories for this month. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.